Welcome to ECM Toolbox. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use interactive eForms to streamline your workflow within Application Extender. We'll complete a sample eForm together using ECM Toolbox's easy user interface and show you how it integrates seamlessly with AX and Workflow. The diagram here shows how it all works together. Let's jump in and view the eForm module, which you can access through a web page or email link. We begin by accepting the terms and conditions. On this page, you can link to related resources as needed. To approve the terms, simply hit Next, which takes you to the first page, General Information. You'll first enter your company number, which connects the form to your database and returns values into the remaining fields. Simply select your company's home state from the dropdown and hit Next. On this page, you'll enter your company stakeholders' information, including the name, title, years with the company, an ownership percentage for each. I'll enter 75% for our sample president, Richard. Our next stakeholder, Mary, is CEO, has six years with the company, and commands 25% ownership. You can see the ownership totals are calculated to 100% and displayed here. Next, you'll specify whether your company is owned and controlled by a parent organization. In this example, we'll select No and hit Next. One of the great things about ECM Toolbox eForms is how dynamic they are, using conditional questions that can trigger other related questions specific to your needs. Here, we can type in a quick message and hit Next. Now that we've got the swing of this, we'll move more quickly through the form while highlighting key features. Here you can attach additional documents as needed. Simply use the Finder to attach your documents, then hit Next. Continue to fill out the form, including all conditional questions, until you reach the final approval page, where you enter your name, today's date, and sign. You can then view the completed form in preview mode and see if you need to make any changes. To accept the form, hit complete. Congratulations! Your submitted eForm is now integrated in AX. Let's look for the one we just submitted. Here it is in AX. You can see all the information entered, including the attachment and signature approval page. Your authorized users can now view and modify submitted eForms in the workflow module and resubmit within AX as needed. I see here all the information I entered, including the attachment and signature approval. Here it is inside of Workflow. You can see that if we make changes to the eForm inside Workflow, it will update simultaneously in AX. Once you are ready to use the eForm within a workflow, you simply archive it and use it as needed. This workflow step displays the form as a PDF inside Application Extender. You can move this PDF to another workflow step and modify it again to meet your needs. Each version of the PDF will remain inside of AX with the most recent file serving as the current template. It can also be sent directly to your ERP or other business line application. And there you have it. Dynamic eForms from ECM Toolbox give you the power to streamline your workflow within AX. In summary, we completed a web-based eForm, which automatically imported to Application Extender. We saw the eForm routed inside of Workflow and modified there as well. We saw that data can come from an ERP system and can be used to populate form fields. Conversely, the data stored in AX can be sent directly to your ERP or other business line application. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, call or visit ecmtoolbox.com. Have a great day. Interested in what Queso can do for you? Subscribe to our channel now and check out these videos.